Okay. Uh, good successful night uh, coming out here again to Lumen and, and, and playing really good, hard football. Um, really pleased with the overall feeling of the game uh, from start to finish. And uh, we got our ones a little bit of work. Um, you know, selective ones played on both sides of the ball and, and got enough to just get them out there. It's really what we wanted to get done tonight. Um, you know, it starts with Gino getting them some snaps and, and the O-line and all that. Uh, so that approach seemed to work out okay. It's a long night for the twos, man, after once they get going, though. It's so uh, um, really hats off to those guys. They, it's, that's two big games those guys have played back-to-back -back and done a nice job and all the way through the finish, which was cool. Um, both Gino and, and uh, Drew were five for six. You know, they, they popped the ball around pretty good. Both looked in command, had no problems uh, at, at any time, really. We... I wish Gina would, you know, we could have connected on the, on the slant we threw uh, uh, to Derek. But other than that, it was a really clean night for those guys. And I, I thought Holton was a freaking blast watching him play. Man, this guy's a fun football player, and he's tough, and uh, he, he's scrappy. Uh, he comes up with the throws. She's, he threw a great fade ball that we, we didn't handle right. But uh, um, he, he knows how to finish games, so that was really fun watching him play. Um, uh, Tajon looked good tonight. I thought he had a nice game. Some guys, so the younger guys, you know, did some cool things. And, and uh, uh, Tariq Smith had a really nice game on his side, on the defensive side. Uh, eight tackles and the, the big sack at the end. Um, both the last two weeks, the finish on defense with chasing the quarterback and, and getting him knocked down and all that, making the big sack to, to win the game. Um, I think it's it's just the feeling of how you finish. And, and uh, so I was pleased with that, uh, just kind of in a general sense. Um, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff. I, I, I love the interception that we got, uh, too, uh, um, from Trey. A uh, huge time, really. They look like they're going, and, and he makes a big steal. We had a little bit of pressure and forced the quarterback out. Really good reaction in a scramble situation uh, for Trey. Um, but a, a real nice play, a nice return and all that. Um, I also want I think that I, that I mentioned about uh, Tajon's punt return. It was a huge play. Uh, got another one. Uh, that was a huge play in the game, uh, really field position shift. And then John Hall coming through with his block punt was beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, Bobo couldn't put it in the end zone, but uh, uh, it was good to get get the safety, but it was a huge play. First thing I did ask, ask John, have you ever blocked a punt before, thinking that he hadn't? He, he has blocked some in his past, so that was not new to him. He looked very, very adept at getting that done. It's a great football play, and uh, it was a really big play in the game. Pete, you've talked about how much you value preseason games. Did Trey Brown win a job tonight? Did Trey Brown win a job tonight? Oh, I don't know that. I can't. Tell you. No, not at this point. I, no, I don't think I could say that about it. I, I haven't watched the film. I haven't seen anything. Um, he did a nice job, though. He really cool open field tackle that he made. The one he missed last week, he makes this week. Beautiful you know, improvement uh, and the big play. Um, he's a good football player. He's doing really well. He's played He's played really well consistently, and uh, we're lucky to have him on our side. He was out there a lot today. Was that about getting a long evaluation on him, or is it because he missed so much time last year he just needs to rest? No, it's because of depth, depth, more than that, even that. You know, the, the, the younger guys, we were, were nicked up a little bit at the spot. So um, Benji just made it back the day before the game, and so we just didn't have – he had to play a lot. Is uh, Drew Locke okay, or what happened? Yeah, it sounds like he's, he's going to be fine. They, um, after the evaluation, he got a little bit of a, a strain in the back of his knee. Um, he got hyperextended a little bit, but uh, there's, no, there's no damage, and, and so um, they think that he'll play next week. Second straight game that your defense gave up less than 3.8 yards per carry against the run. How encouraged are you by the depth you're seeing with that defensive line and the way they're playing? Around? Well, what I really like is I like our overall play, our overall leveraging the football and, and containing the football and the, the force elements of our game. Is, we made a huge emphasis of this in the offseason. We thought we were sloppy in the past and we had not been as accountable. Um, the perimeter plays, the screens and those things, that tonight you saw us again you know, pounding on, on those things. Um, we're, I think we're, we're better than we've been in the last few years at this early stage of leveraging the football. And so the big plays aren't getting out. And that's why the, the numbers are in the threes. And, and uh, so it's a really good early statement because it's been a huge emphasis for us. And so we'll see if we can do it again next week and, and keep growing with that. We were able to get some explosive plays out of the passing game. Gino DeBobo, Jackson, Cody, and, and Noah getting some catches. What did you kind of see out of the, the passing game in that front? I was, I was fired up about it. I mean, those guys are, you know, they're 10 for 12, you know, the first two quarterbacks. And, and uh, I thought uh, Shane gave him some good chances tonight. You know, he went after him a little bit and, uh, you know, coming up with some big plays, you know, in, in sequence. I, I, I really liked the way he called it. And we ran the ball for 140 yards, you know, and, and so – you know, that's that's the kind of balance that, that we're looking for and, and uh, gives us a chance to be able to do all of the stuff, all of the play passes and the movement stuff that we like doing. 
Would, would Drew have played more if he'd been okay? Or? I wasn't going to put me in. Uh, I was thinking about it, though. You're talking about me, right? Yeah, yeah. You said, are you going to play more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, okay. I, yeah, I, mean, I, I always think, it's always on my mind, but I, you know, of course I can't do that. But I think it doesn't mean I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob. What did you ask? No, just, what really were you asking like, there? Would Drew have played more if he, if he yes. had to? Yeah, yeah. I was going to, I was going to uh, hopefully see Drew play a ton tonight um, with Gino getting a little bit of work. And, uh, um, you know, Drew was preparing to play. He knew he was going to play a lot of football, and I like that whole process. Gino's really taught us something. Let me take a little sidebar here. Gino's really taught us something, and, and that we've we've learned from him the mentality that it takes to be in that situation where you're backing up but be on a ready. And uh, he, remember, he we, we would give him credit for doing that for four years straight. And then when he finally got his chance, he kicked butt. You know, and and uh, so. Drew was practicing that tonight. Drew was, was he knew he was going to play, and so he, all week long he practiced like he knew he was going to play. And then so the game comes and he he does in this one because it's it's all set up. But that's the way he needs to think. That's 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 Geno prep. That's G prep. That's what we're talking about. That's Geno how he did it. He's learned from that. And uh, I'm hoping there's other guys that will also gain from the example that Geno gives us. You know, and that really helps guys prepare. Better than when they think, oh, yeah, I probably won't get in. Offensive linemen in particular, when we don't rotate a lot of guys, those guys have to think like they're going to play because it can happen one play away. And uh, so we're learning something. And I, I'm, I'm proud that we can give credit to Gino for that. But more that, than that, our guys executing well when they get their opportunity is what's really important. What's Locke shown you in these two games? Uh, <clears throat> I asked him about, did you feel different this night? than last time and he said absolutely it, you know last week was this first time coming out and then played for, for our fans and in the stadium and all that and um you know he was a little he's a little nervous you know about it. he wanted to do well and he, so he could feel the difference tonight he was calm he was relaxed he was ready to go and and he had a blast playing he was having fun out there and and, and uh running the show so um this next week is a really important week again for him to come back and get a lot of play time. We're just trying to get him ready, you know, and and, and uh, so he's ready to pop when the when the if the opportunity comes and, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll be able to get that done. When he's on, like this, like the pass to Smith and Jigley, right over the shoulder of the defender. When he's on, does it show you? Well, this guy has started in the league. He has. The I, I think he's. Goal. I think he's a starter. I mean, I, that's that's what we're so excited about having. We thought that when we got him, and uh, and it just. Didn't work out, and Gino was just too much in command. Uh, but I think he's playing like a starter, and we think of him as a guy that can go out there and win a football game for us, running our whole entire offense. There's nothing that we do that he can't do and, and doesn't have command of. So it's a really fortunate situation. I hope he comes out of this, you know, this little yank that he got on his knee here, and he can go ahead and play this next week. And we will have done everything we could do to prepare him for his opportunity when it comes. And, and we believe in him. And, and, He's a, you can see he's a fine athlete. He can move well. He's smooth and quick and all that. Throws the heck out of the football. Um, he's just grown, grown up with us. And so I'm so really pleased about that. Excuse me. That's the plan and preference for him to play most of the game next week? I'm, he's going to play a lot. Yeah, I want, to, I want to get as much football under his belt as he can um, to, in getting him ready. And, uh, Coach, thanks for Smith. Um, yeah, he said to us he's a little bit rusty after so much sure. time off. Is he back to the player he was that you drafted? Uh, so yeah, yeah he, he did well tonight. Now, he, he has – it's taken him some time in, in camp. Um, but he, he had a really impressive week. Uh, you could see it coming. And so uh, the fact that he goes out and does it in the game, that's kind of what you hope happens, you know, from the coaching perspective. He did it. And, and uh, he was quick and, and assertive. He used his calls and his stunts and things really well to make plays in the backfield from the backside. And um, he was a really active player in college. We never even saw him last year. We practiced for two days, you know, so we never even had a clue. And uh, it seems like he's, yeah, I think the rust is kind of, you know, getting knocked off, and he's ready to really contribute and play for us. He looks like a good ball player. I'm sorry. In that rotation, you know, with our guys. He's got to try to get in that rotation with our guys. Uh, I think Boye did a nice job tonight. Um, I don't know what Chenna got done at this point, but, uh, you know, Daryl's going to come roaring back here. And then, uh, you know, next week I would be pretty close, you know. And so it's that competition for those guys, and we'll see how it goes. With all those guys, Derek Hall have the sack too. Is that, is that rotation starting to look kind of the depth you want? I like it. Right yeah, I like these guys now. I really like these guys. I don't mind who's in the game. We have four, four or five guys that are playing, and we, we like them all. And so if we can keep them fresh and keep them really fast, um, that that's, would be a great asset for us. Got a little bit of a look at Jaron playing nose tackle tonight, but I mean, how do you feel about that spot? In general? I, I, I think 
we're so fortunate that Jake Reed came back to us. We really are. More so, more than just the playing, he is such a leader for us. He's got a great mentality. He's tough. He, he's demanding of the young guys. He coaches them up. He's, he's assumed that role, that he's kind of the statesman there. And he, he ain't that old, but, he's, but he just has assumed that kind of posture with them. And he's got a great uh, kind of approach to it. And so uh, he can play three technique. He can play the one technique. And we can move him around. Uh, it was great that he got a sack. Well, I don't remember what down that was. Was it a third down sack? Yeah, yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Um, so he's, you know, he's vying, trying to get on that that nickel rush team, you know, and be part of that. Um, we're really lucky we got him back. Do you have the depth you want at the one spot? Say it again. Do you have the depth you want there? Well, uh, we got to get Mike back. You know, Mike Mike Morris uh, um, showed some really good stuff at both both spots that we're playing him at, and. Uh, his shoulder is pretty good, but it's not. We just wanted to protect him one more week, and I hope we can get him back out this next week. But that's a that's a factor for us. Uh, Cam too. We have not seen enough of Cam, but if both those guys get a shot, and uh, you know Austin uh, Fayola is, is is coming back too here before too long, you know. So that's where we're hoping those guys can all be part of that rotation, um, and and it should be somewhat formidable. I, I think it's it's because of Jay Reed's play that that gives us a chance to you know rotate guys in, and he'll be the steady for us, and uh, we'll see what happens. All those guys are so unproven. Are you good with the depth there? Do you need mm -hmm. to add? Yeah. I, no, I've seen enough. I, I haven't seen Austin enough. He had one day on the practice field. Um, uh, and really, we haven't seen enough from Cam yet, but we, we know him well enough, you know, from all the time we studied him and all, that he should be able to do everything we're asking him. He was saying earlier in camp that he felt like you know, he came back on a certain injury, but with the patella tendon, he wasn't all the way back, and he, he just feels different this year. Are you seeing that? Yeah, yeah, he's very elusive. Yeah, he's he's got a real edge edge ability to him. You know, he he you'll see him in the backfield quite a bit, and we'll give him chances to move. We'll try to play to that strength as as best we can. Um, he, he's a creative player. He sees things real well. So he's he's got. That's why I, I, when we first were looking at him, I saw a trace of, of what Mike Bennett was like. You know, they could get in the, in the backfield and slip and slide and all that kind of stuff. You know, so right. is Mike in the room here? He's I'm like Trey Brown. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm he sorry. was saying last year with his knee when he came back, he wasn't all the way. Are you, are you seeing a difference? Um, <laughs> That's helpful too. Am <laughs> um, I seeing a difference? Uh, I see Trey as I did when he when he left before he got hurt. You know, remember, I was fired up about him, and we, he was looking like a starter then. You know, he played really well and, and done some great stuff, and then he just he just had to leave. Um, so he's come back. Uh, he's just showing that he's a consistent football player. He can cover guys. He, he's explosive. He's tough. You know, so I really like the tackle he made tonight. Cody Thompson, what happened with him? Um, uh, what happened with that one? Um, oh, he, yeah. He um, on the hit on the sidelines. He banged his shoulder a little bit. You mentioned Boye earlier. It seems like we've asked you about him after the mock game after last week. After yeah, this game. he's it's just like, doing it. Yeah, it seemed like he was doing everything for you know, setting edge, getting pressure. Like, yeah, what, what do you see out of that? He's doing everything better. You know, he's, he's um, a year ago. The newness just, he didn't know when he was going to look like he didn't have a clue what was going on. And he doesn't, he's not like that anymore. He's physically really apt for the position. He's fast, he's long, he's strong. Uh, he's got a good motor to him. Um, he seems he seems to uh, have good endurance. You know, he doesn't, he's not getting worn down when he's out there playing. Um, so, uh, to me, it's, it's not any one person, it's the rotation. You know, Chen is really the leader of that group because he's the steady guy and all of that, uh, the vet, and, and he, he's going to do right more than the other guys, but uh, it's a good mix, and hopefully we can keep everybody going. Is that starting spot opposite Nuozu up for grabs, or is Taylor? Yeah, we, yeah we're, we're, we're still just letting it go. There's no reason to call it. Just let these guys keep battling and let the competition just you know play on. Because right now, if we were playing a game, they'd all play. You know, they'd all just be in the rotation, and we try to keep them as fresh as we could because we, we trust every, every one of them. So uh, it's a good spot for us. Like Jordan, Jordan Brooks got some work in the pregame. Was kind of out there doing everything. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he he. It's really frustrating for him right now. He's so close to being back out there. Uh, this will be a really good week for him. He's ready to practice hard and go. And so this would be that maybe that first week that we can start to break him, break him into more really some team reps and stuff like that. Um, the process of getting him the the walkthrough has really allowed him to get there. And so uh, really, really fired up about him getting back out. He's a uh, it's hard for him watching us play, and he's not part of it. What's left for you that you need to see or do or find out about here? Uh, 
the rest of the preseason that's left? What do you, what's uh, we got we got to go on the road. You know, we got we got to take our show on the road and, and, and play really hard from start to finish again. Uh, it was a pretty consistent effort tonight. Again, carrying over from game one, I'm really pleased about that one. That's that's something I was hoping for more than anything that we would play good, hard, tough football across the board, and we we got that done. So. Now we got to go somewhere else and go do it, you know, on the road and show our guys that it doesn't matter where we play. We're going to try to teach that, you know, and, and stand for that. That doesn't matter who we're playing or where we're playing, and uh, but you got to go prove it. So we'll see. It's a great place to go. It's a very difficult place hey, to play for good. Speaking of consistency, Zach Charbonnet, what do you see from game one to game two? He looks pretty good now. He looks pretty good. I don't think he's. Zach has shown us already what, he, what we we feel like we already know who we got. We think we got a hell of a football player there. Uh, there's so much stuff that he does well. Um, I wish he would have broke that, you know, broke back again. He, he said the exact same thing. I, I, I just didn't come back quick enough, you know, to come back against the grain on his big run. Um, he's explosive. He's consistent. He's really smart. You can totally count on the guy. Um, he, he's he's a heck of a football player. So it's just a matter of he, we're he's playing. You know, he's gonna play. What's Sir Roderick Thompson kind of showed you in the few weeks he's been I here really too? I like his style, man. I, he's got a real slasher type of style about him. He, he's done well. Um, unfortunately, they catch the fade on him. It's kind of underthrown. He's all over the guy. He got tangled up a little bit. That's why they got the penalty on him. But uh, um, I, there was a tackle Mike had. I think I, he, he'll hit it better than he did tonight. Um, but I, I thought he, he continues to play well. He's, he's an experienced veteran guy for us who we can really count on. You know, So it's, it's just kind of like the outside backer spot. We got guys that can play, and we like the, the – the opportunity to be flexible there if we, if we want to. Do you have any more uh, with, 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 with a spoon when you might be back any more of a thought? I'm going to be surprised if Spoon isn't running a lot this week. Um, and then the next week, we have th we look at three weeks right now. You know, it's the game week in the opener, but we come back for the bye week and, and then this this final preseason game. So um, he'll be doing all the walkthroughs, I think, this week. And then that, that's kind of the staging him to come back the next week. And so that, that's what I hope happens as we're close to that. We haven't seen Diaz the last couple of days. I mean, is there anything? Um, yeah, his knee's getting better, but it's it's, and he he jogged a little bit, and so he's he's getting closer. Um, it's not in terrible shape right now. He's he just got to get back out. So, but it's probably still a couple weeks. What, uh, what did Patrick show you to get the start today? Uh, Patrick. Um, um, Bobby wasn't playing. <laughs> Um, and and uh, uh, Radigan had been uh, had missed a number of days with his elbow that was sore. Rat did a great job to get back out there tonight and get some play time. Um, Patrick's doing a nice job. Uh, you know he's shown some consistent play. I'm really anxious to see what it looks like tonight. Uh, I didn't get to watch him much, but um, he uh, you know he, he's building trust in you know because he's doing well and we're starting to like what you know what he brings. Anything else? Thank you. There we go.